This was Francesca Baker's introduction in her 2014 article titled, Is Social Media Killing Literature? She went on to say that according to critics, people are turning away from reading because of social media. But surprise, surprise, the point of this article was not to invalidate the literary role of social media. Instead, she established a stand here that to position social media and literature in opposition to one another is to misunderstand the use of literature. And I have to agree. Hi, this is Winma and welcome to my vlog! <laughs> Literature and social media are in themselves media. They are a form of expression, a tool for messaging, and a communication platform. They are both dependent on interaction with their audience, and we engage with social media the same way we engage with literature. We experience shared meaning, fathom universal ideas, and get to know people, places, and things. It can be argued that literature is, after all, social. We could use social media to revive interest in classic or conventional literature. For instance, there was this Twitter fiction festival that invited users to create stories in 140 character installments. So what the participants did was to retell Greek myths in 100 tweets, write epithets for existing gravestones, and other crazy, creative approaches to reference literature. Social media has also paved the way for the creation of newer literature. Literature does not have to be classic all the time. It's evolving. It could be a self-published prose or poetry which social media incredibly supports. Each person can now be an author, his own editor, his own publisher through platforms such as Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, and many more. Instant feedback may just be one of the most useful features of social media in terms of self-publishing and the economics of distribution has never been this inexpensive. Having said these, we see that social media provides new ways of rediscovering literary canons and connecting with their authors while also facilitating the advent of newer and distinctive forms of creative expression. Furthermore, there have also been collaborative writing sites where writers can work together on a book writing project, crowdsourced novels have also sprouted, and social media fosters collaboration amongst literary networks and highlights participatory culture that could radically change the way we produce, share, and circulate literature. Insta poetry, booktube, Twitter literature, name it. Contemporary literature forms are largely intertwined with social media. I know you've thought about this. What if Rizal had a Facebook account? What if Andres Bonifacio had a TikTok? What if Gabriela Silang vlogs on YouTube? At some point, I know we've tried to imagine how significant historical events would have played out on social media. Here are interesting questions from Adrian Aaron in her article, The Fusion of Literature and Social Media. There are endless innovative and attractive possibilities on social media when we talk of literary expression, storytelling, and collaboration. A simple post or a My Day or a TikTok can be revolutionary. The guy I was talking to was like, but didn't know on TikTok. Ang cringe kasi ng mga tao dun. Social media has indeed infiltrated our lives and let's take advantage of that. Let's continue to share stories, build communities, and fight injustices. Help make literature viral on social media. <laughs>